It's the last thing Cape Bretoners wanted, another powerful snowstorm to dig out of. Not long after getting hit with more than a meter of snow that they're still trying to clear away. Now a nor'easter adding fierce winds and up to 35 centimeters more. I've been doing this for 16 years. I've worked all through the mountains of BC on some of the craziest highways um, anywhere and this tops them all. Local police urged people to stay off the roads as they dealt with several stranded vehicles. And it's not just vehicles that are stuck. A volunteer team of military veterans who came to shovel out people stuck in their homes had to rescue themselves first. People don't get it, uh, especially if you're not local. We're talking six, eight, nine feet snow drifts. When one of these snow drifts blew against this man's door, his only option was to crawl out a window. We love winter, but there's a lot of snow all at once. Halifax was also hit, where there was more weariness. It was bad, like everything is unplowed, but yeah, I guess it is what it is. They, they said it was going to be 10 to 15, but I think we got a bit more. So it's going to be a long morning. The storm is now expected to hammer Newfoundland until Friday, with up to 60 centimeters of snow. We have about 1,400 kilometers of uh, road and and about 175 kilometers of sidewalk to uh, to get clear. For some, that'll mean many rounds of shoveling. That's why I'm doing the first cut, because, you know, 60 centimeters is almost my height. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Cape Breton, the municipality says they have 170 vehicles on the job. Our fleet of equipment is running at full capacity and has been for the past couple of weeks. Nicola, these back-to-back -back storms are also hitting businesses really hard. Yes, Adrian, this extreme weather is impacting businesses that still haven't opened from the last storm. They're still dealing with damages, uh, and now they have more to deal with. I went to a restaurant in downtown Sydney called 7x7. Seven Seven. They've been closed for 11 days with a crumbling roof and ceiling. It just buckled under the weight of the snow. And they estimate losing weekend business, and tonight, Valentine's Day, they're out tens of thousands of dollars. And the mayor in St. John said the same thing. Small businesses are really struggling through it. I expect they're all just hoping for better weather to come. Adrian. So many are. Nicholas, again, reporting from Sydney, Nova Scotia. Thank you.